uh, it is the middle of February. Middle of February. Yeah, and just barely middle yeah. of February. Had a record in Plattsburgh, tied the record in Burlington. We'll have more records as we go forward, too. Might even wow. be some thunder tomorrow afternoon. Mm which is uh, unusually early and a whole bunch of people taking advantage of phenomenal night skiing conditions because you think about it, usually the nighttime is so cold, you need so many layers and well, that's not the case tonight. The Vista Quad there working extra hard as it brings skiers up there to about 3,000 feet or so. 43 degrees on the access road at Bolton. This is the list of daytime uh, temperatures tomorrow. The forecast is on the left column. The current record is on the right. So Burlington, that is a record by eight degrees. Doesn't happen by that much a lot of the time. So that's the situation for Saturday. Plattsburgh could have a record. Central Vermont, Montpelier could as well. And same deal in the Upper Valley. I think Saranac Lake is too far away. But we'll see. A lot of times those uh, really warm days, the last warm day in the stretch can get a little extra spicy at the last possible second. So we'll be watching at 43 in Newcomb, New York right now. The Mad River Valley checking in at 43. And a lot of uh, the areas east of the spine of the Green Mountains have not seen a ton of melting. There's some, but the air is pretty dry. Tomorrow, the dew points come up. It's more of a snow eater, an ice eater air on Saturday. So just keep that in mind. There'll be more water where there's still some snow situated about. This is our Rutland camera showing still a little bit of light on the horizon as we out, uh, look out towards the west, towards Castleton, Fairhaven, and Lake Bomazine here at 547 on this Friday night. So there's not much rain on Storm Tracker. There may be a shower uh, in northern spots tonight, but it's not very wet. It's mostly a dry night, still breezy if you're out and about at midnight or 1 o'clock in the morning. And then we've got clouds and some sunshine once again tomorrow. But you'll see there's a band of rain that has a little bit of organization to it. And at 12 noon, it basically goes along a line from Watertown, New York, to Saranac Lake, to Burlington, to Newport. And then once it forms, uh, it may be kind of choppy, but it'll move south and east. So the thinking is if you're in southern Vermont, you have to wait the longest for the rain, maybe not till three, four, five o'clock. And I think the best thunder potential will be to the south because as you see here, that is where there'll be just a little bit more sunshine. This faint red color, it's faint for a reason because there's not a lot of fuel, but there's a little bit. That's how we might get a couple of lightning strikes, especially south and east of the Champlain Valley as we go through the afternoon hours tomorrow. Something to think about if you'll be outside. Now for Tuesday morning, I think a lot of us miss the snow, unfortunately, but uh, there will be a few inches, I think, in southern Vermont, probably in Grafton and Sullivan counties in New Hampshire, and a much bigger storm, more snow as you go south of us. So if you're doing any traveling on Tuesday morning, it's a very impactful storm for the region. That's the importance there of that Tuesday forecast. But uh, some of us will get it, and we'll fine-tune that northern edge as we go along. Either way, Valentine's Day on Wednesday looks great. And then President's Day weekend there, the last three days of the 10-day classic winter. Not a snowstorm at this point, but it does look cold there for the holiday weekend. Stu, Alice.